Thank you very much, Judy. Uh, so I'll share my screen now for our presentation. So thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, as, as Judy kindly in, uh, introduced ourselves, uh, my name is Sarah Morris and over to you soon. Okay, I, um, I'm Sarah Hooks. I'm a Senior Safety and Learning Advisor with the Welsh Risk Pool. I'm a registered midwife and I lead on the Prompt Wales programme. So before um, we start our session with Sarah, um, we would just like to thank our contributors to this project. Our, uh, Jane Story, our Prompt Wales and Prompt Maternity Foundation midwife who has supported us, as well as supporting many of the community prompt training days. Also, thanks to Shelley Higgins, our consultant midwife for Powys, and Jane Gray, practice development midwife for Cartonville, for their knowledge and experience that facilitated the development of the training booklet. Over to you, Sarah. Okay, thank you. So, Sarah and I are delighted to have the opportunity to talk to you today about this innovative project, which we believe could be a significant contributor to safe outcomes for women and babies by preparing community midwifery teams to recognise and manage emergency situations efficiently and effectively. You may be familiar with prompt training, which has been widely um, adopted in the UK and internationally. Prompt is an evidence-based training intervention associated with improvements in maternal and neonatal care, as demonstrated in the slide. In 2018, the Welsh Risk Pool collaborated with the Prompt Maternity Foundation and implemented prompt training throughout NHS um, Wales obstetric-led services. And the intervention was funded by the Welsh Risk Pool. Given that improvements in care would reduce litigation costs associated with avoidable harm, and in 2018, Prompt Wales training was mandated by Welsh Government for midwives, obstetricians and midwives working, um, obstetric anaesthetists as well, working in NHS Wales. Prompt training has demonstrated improvements when teams that work together train together in the environment in which they work. So Prompt also promotes the testing of environments and systems, requiring teams to practice simulated emergencies in context, and by that we mean where the emergencies actually happen, with whom they work with and with the usual equipment and resources. And whilst we recognise the benefits of community midwives attending Prompt Wales training in their local maternity unit, it doesn't really fit with training in context. Having identified within the Prompt Wales training, um, beg your pardon, within the Prompt Wales strategy, we were keen to develop an innovative approach to obstetric emergency training, which was tailored for community teams. So that training in context to um, align with the Prompt Wales training that was received in maternity units. So during 2019, we began to consider how we could best address this. And a scoping exercise demonstrated an appetite for community training, with community midwives in most health boards already receiving some training in addition to training in their local maternity unit. In keeping with the Prop Wales principles, this identified an opportunity to reduce variation and to assure high quality training for community teams in view of the variation in delivery of that training. So we, did, we came up with the idea of this bespoke community training programme. Back in 2019, it's not that long ago, the birth rate in Wales was just under 30,000. 719 home births took place and 939 births in freestanding midwife-led units. So that was a total of 5.6% of all births taking place outside hospital. And at the same time, the Welsh Government was also progressing maternity care in Wales, a five-year vision for the future, settling on a figure of 45% of women being low risk of complications which would enable them to give birth in mm. any setting by 2024. So therefore, with a potential increase in the number of women choosing to birth in a midwife-led environment, it's more important than ever that community midwives are prepared and confident to manage emergencies wherever they may arise. And we all know that emergencies such as shoulder dystocia and cord prolapse are largely unpreventable and PPH is often unexpected. Community midwives need to practice these emergencies in context in an unfamiliar environment that they would be in, such as a woman's home, in a team of just two professionals and all whilst working out of a bag. Avoidable harm isn't um, limited to high risk cases and keeping women and babies safe while promoting a positive birth experience is what we are all trying to achieve. So how did we make this happen? 
Well, firstly, we have we developed a, a dedicated team or identified a dedicated team um, which consisted of the Prompt Wales national team midwives, a midwife from the Prompt Maternity Foundation, a consultant midwife and a practice facilitator both from NHS Wales. And together we developed a community Prompt Wales trainers booklet, which is based on the Prompt mm. Maternity Foundation training resources. And this was reviewed by the Prompt Wales national team obstetricians and the Prompt Maternity Foundation. And the booklet consisted of nine chapters of community based obstetric emergencies with simulated scenarios, along with algorithms and pro formas, which we had adapted and had peer reviewed, particularly for community midwifery services. And a USB containing principal training resources was developed. Human factors is an integral part of prompt training and a community specific human factors presentation um, was provided to local teams to ensure that consistency and authenticity to the prompt model. And then in 2019, when we had all that ready, the programme was formally launched at a faculty development event, more commonly known as a train the trainer. And that was attended by 41 midwives from the community services in Wales. And these teams were asked to pilot community prompt Wales um, for a 12 month period that was between January and December 2020, following which we had planned an evaluation. So 36 courses were held overall. There were some delays in rolling out the programme and some courses were can cancelled due to the COVID pandemic. Um, which is expected and um, what's anticipated. Sarah, Jane Storey or myself were delighted to attend 26 of these courses to offer support and ensure that authenticity to prompt. So these photos are from the launch. I think it's pretty clear to see through, from these that everybody appeared to be having a good time. The training event was designed to prepare the new facilitators um, how to organise and run community Prompt Wales courses in their own units or, beg your pardon, their own community teams. And the day included an introductory talk about the project, how to become an effective Prompt Wales facilitator in the community, how to run scenarios and workstations and orientation to the community Prompt Wales trainers booklet and training resources. And the event was really um, well evaluated, very positively, with 100% of the community um, midwife states in the community Prompt Wales was needed. And they all felt and recognised an increase in their confidence after having been through the training programme themselves. And I'm going to finish with some um, photos from um, community Prompt Wales training over that year. Um, pre and during COVID, so you'll see some photographs pre social distancing and face masks and some with. And the key things that you might notice in here are um, the adapted algorithms um, that were in use during the training and the human factor observer checklists. And the community midwives have found it really helpful practicing retrieving items from their bags in a time critical situation. So this has helped them streamline their um, equipment and paperwork. And the algorithms that you can see, the pink um, photograph top in the middle, those have also been adapted into clinical practice to um, make the right way, the easy way. The tools that we use in prompt to um, make the emergency run smoother as the community midwives can run through the algorithm. And we've also provided um, spaces for them to make quick notes and timings. So let's have a look now at how Community Prompt Wales pilot has been evaluated. And I'm going to hand over to Sarah to take you through that process. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about how we evaluated the training programme. The pilot ran between January to December 2020. The ideal population identified to undertake this training would have been all community midwives, paramedics and healthcare systems making the training multi-professional. But due to COVID-19, the training did not have all the desired attendance from all participant groups. So therefore, within our data for here, they, we have just highlighted the midwifery free number. So during this pilot, there was a total of 561 community and birth centre midwives identified to attend this training in Wales, whereby only 241, that's 43%, actually attended alongside six paramedics and seven healthcare systems, as well as three student midwives. 
The number of midwives is lower than we anticipated, but again, it was attributed to the pandemic resulting in delayed implementation and, uh, and cancellation of courses. The pilot was evaluated using three methods. One was feedback from the faculty using mm. the actual training booklet. Two, from the observational feedback from the Prompt Waste national team. And three, from the online survey completed by the delegates. So by, ev by evaluating the pilot like this, it allowed us to evaluate from all perspectives so faculty are the users or the implementers, the Prompt Wales team observe for authenticity and consistency and from the delegates who the training is for should and should impact the most. So on to method one. This was written feedback from the faculty using a structured format supplied by the, Welsh, uh, the Prompt Wales national team. Again, this allowed for consistency to observe for themes and trends. The findings were only 10, 10 were received from 36 courses Another opportunity was given at the end of the pilot in January for further feedback with no response. Another uh, particular interests were based on the usage of the book booklet. For example, any chapters are required changing within the booklet. And all feedback received was positive with no suggestions for change. On to method two, which involved the Prompt Wales National Midwives, so that's myself, Jane Story and Sarah Hooks, whereby we attended the training days and provided written mm. feedback afterwards teams. Our findings were, most days were led by practice development midwives. COVID-19 had significantly impacted the preparation and implementation of the training. Each health board varied in programmes and delegates who attended. For example, some run half days, others run full prompt day, uh, prompt community prompt wheels days. And paramedics were invited to some, but not all courses. However, all community prompt training days maintained the prompt principles by applying human factors training to their program and adapting to their environment and team available. The community prompt algorithms and performers that were specifically adapted for this training were all implemented into their days and each health board had a dedicated community prompt with its faculty team. All training took place within the ID location, for example, in a freestanding birth centre or within a home environment. So. On to evaluation number three. This was the online survey which was completed by the participants who had attended the training. This method helped us to evaluate the effectiveness of the community prompt MERS training. We asked 10 specific questions, both open ended, open and ended, to, to allow us to capture data to analyse whilst providing participants the opportunity to give feedback in their own words. The survey was generated and shared by Survey I, which permitted us to collect quantitative data. And we shared the survey via email to PDF, the practice development midwives, and to those who attended the training, as well as sharing it, sharing it via social media platforms over a six to seven week period. So the survey results. So out of the 257 attendees, we had 128 ha had completed the survey, giving us a 50% response rate in that survey. Responses from each health board was varied due to the number of courses held, as well as limitations from the pandemic. Of the 128 that was completed, 115, so that meant 90% were completed by community and birth centre midwives. The participants were asked how confident did they feel in managing an obstetric emergency within the community before attending the community prompt wheels training. Only 28% identified themselves as very or extremely confident. The same question then was asked, but how confident did they feel after attending the community prompt wheels training? And 84% had identified themselves as very or extremely confident, which gives us a 56% 56, 56 increase in confidence levels following a community prompt wheels training day. The result, results continued. So we had 98% stated community prompt wheels training will influence the clinical practice. 95% stated the training should be multi-professional by including paramedics. Only 29% stated training should be improved locally, which is at their own health board. But all, all responses were provided with positive improvements, such as in, involve paramedics or um, add an NLS uh, scenario to their programme. So they were really all positive. 99% um, rated the community prompt training very good or excellent, with 100% stating it benefited them. And our final question asked was, which training best suited them? So 3% stated prompt wheels training only, which is the obstetric emergency at the local unit. 43% stated community prompt wheels only, because that's the environment. 
And as you can see, here's, here's just one example of that feedback where it says, I feel that community prompt is more beneficial. And then 54% stated both prompt wheels and community prompt wheels training was best suited to them due to the requirement of them being needed anyway. And use just one example of that feedback. So I said, as we, we they're expected to cover whatever the service requires them. This question, this last question was open-ended with many positive responses, which will be very useful for the future development of both prompt ways and community prompt training for, fu for the future. And so finally, these findings have led us to our conclusions and recommendations. There was most definitely limitations in the implementation due to COVID-19 pandemic, as there was to everywhere, everywhere else. Um, but the survey results with a 50% response rate has provided us with sufficient evidence to validate the training's positive effect on all those who had attended a community prompt wheels training course. Our recommendations would be that community prompt would be implemented into all health boards across Wales and should be attended by community midwives in addition to the mandatory prompt wheels training. Half-day community prompt wheels programmes were most effective and prompt wheels training programmes within the obstetric unit should incorporate a community prompt scenario. Also, we hope to explore how to initiate a paramedic attendance and community prompt wheels has enabled units to test syst systems and standardise equipment, for example, kit bags, which has reduced time error significantly. So, um, and finally, we hope to collect the data on clinical outcomes at a later date to see if training has made an impact. Okay, so dear Humbaur, lastly, we would like to say a special thanks to Jonathan Webb, who's Head of Safety and Learning at Worcester School, for believing in us and supporting mm -hmm. us on this adventure. And thank you to the Heads of Midwifery across Wales for supporting the vision of Community, community Prompt Wales. And most of all, thanks to the 41 community midwives and practice development midwives. We provided you with the tools, but without your engagement, enthusiasm for change and dedication to maintaining safety for mothers and babies, none of this would have been possible without you. So thank you very much, dear and thank you for listening.